What's up guys, Pac-Man does MTG here with another Magic the Gathering deck tech, this time recording on a different laptop, so the quality, I don't know how it's going to be, but I'm going to do my best here to make this green, white, blue deck tech for you guys, because I have made um, a new deck, green, white, blue, so let's get right into it. For this deck, I have two of the land base wise, we have two Temples of Enlightenment. These enter the battlefield tapped. Whenever they enter the battlefield, you scry one and they add a white or a blue mana to your pool. So we have two of those. Um, 22 lands altogether as well. We have four of the Temple of Mystery, which are another scry land for enter the battlefield tapped. You scry one and they add a green or a blue mana to your pool. So these are very good to have in a deck as well maybe. and then we have four temples of plenty these are <clears throat> the battlefield tapped you scry one and they add a white or green to your pool so another set of scry lands and that is all of our dual land base in the deck then we go to our basic lands we have four of each on four planes we have four forest and four island which islands are great so that is the land base of 22 lands basics and dual then we get into our creatures our creatures and our planeswalker in the deck which we have one planeswalker we have two of the soul menders they are one white mana and they can be tapped to gain a life and they're one one so this is a very good card to have in my opinion for a one drop, it isn't bad, you get to gain life with it, and it's a 1-1, one, one, so I mean, it works. Um, we have two of the Triton Shore Stalkers, they can't be blocked for one blue, it's a 1-1. One, one. This is fantastic, since we have an enchantment that can work with this card very well. So it's a 1-1 one, one that cannot be blocked, and it's a 1-blue. Um, we have two two embodiments of spring these are really good in my opinion for helping us get land out and shuffling our deck one blue that has an ability to tap one green and one colorless sacrifice it and you get to search your library for basic land put it on the battlefield tapped then shuffle and it is a zero three defender so that is a very good or not a defender i'm sorry my bad it's just a zero three which I say defender because it has no attack, so it's an 0 3 one drop. Good defense for the beginning of the game. Um, we have our two drops. We have two Kiora's followers for one green and one blue. We get a tap it to untap another target permanent, and we have a 2 2. So this is a very good card to have as well. Very good card to keep in the deck. Um, then we have two of the shamble shark this is very good for one green one blue we get a flash that can be cast as if it was an instant and an evolve which whenever a creature with a power, bigger power or a toughness enters the battlefield it gets a plus one plus one counter on it and it's a two one so this is a very good card to have everything on my screen is backwards written backwards so i have to read it backwards but i'm pretty sure it'll convert over to where everything's written the right side for you guys because i looked for photos and it did the same thing when i was taking the picture but it flipped over so hopefully this will flip over sorry about that if i mess up reading these it's because i'm reading them backwards for our next creatures we have two agent of horizons these are three drop one green two colorless they you can tap a blue and two colorless and it can't be blocked until the this turn i mean and it's a three two that you get so this is a very good card to have in my opinion um two of these running for some unlockable creatures <coughs> excuse me my voice is very deep and kind of throat itchy anyway our next two draw our next three drops are two emancipation angels for two white and one we get a flyer that when it enters the battlefield we get to return a permanent we control to our owner's hand so it's a three three flyer that we can put in and we get to basically return a land if we haven't played a land and play that land again and have another land to play so this is a good card actually i like this card a lot 
for 3-3 three, three flyer for 3. Not bad at all. And then we get our two other three drops, Chroniclers of Heroes. One green, one white, and one. We get a, when it enters the battlefield, if you control a creature with a plus one, plus one on it, we get to draw a card, and it's a 3-3. Three, three. So that's a very good card to have as well. I want to get maybe one more of these guys. Same with the next card, but this is a Courser of Crufix. These are fantastic. Two green and one, you get to play with the top card of your deck revealed. When if the top card is a land card, you can play it from the top of your deck. And whenever the land enters the battlefield, you gain a life. And it is a 2-4 that you get. So this is a very good card to have. Sorry about the quality if you can't really read them. I'm trying to make it to where you can, but this is a 2-4 Courser of Crufix. A very good card to have in my opinion. I just love it. Same with this one. I want to get at least one more of these. Geist of the Saint Tra of Saint Traft. Um, it is one blue, one color, one white, and one colorless. It's hexproof, so it can't be targeted by spells or abilities. And when it attacks, you get to put a four-four angel flying, tapped and attacking into the battlefield, then exile it the next to your turn, at the end of your turn. And this is a two-two. So that guy is really good because you get a four-four flyer attacking with him. We have another one here that I just I'm gonna have one in. Wilt Leaf Cavalier. It's a either one green or white. It's either three green or three white, and or a mixture of both. It's a Vigilance three four. Pretty good card to have since it's Vigilance, in my opinion. And then our other creatures are, are two Rumbling Baloth. They're just two green and two colorless for a four four creature. I mean that's not bad to have for four mana. And then we have our Planeswalker, and this Planeswalker is fantastic. Jace Memory Adept. He is starting off at a 4 royalty, and you plus 1 him to draw a card, and then the target player puts a top card of his deck into his graveyard. A 0 cost that makes him, target player, put the top 10 cards of their deck in the graveyard, and a minus 7 to have any number of target players draw 20 cards. So that's a very good card to have for two blue and three colorless. Fantastic card to have. So that is my Planeswalker in the deck. Then we go into our enchantments. Our enchantments being this one working very well with Triton Shore Stalker I showed you earlier. Forced Adaptation. One green, you get to enchant a creature and put a plus one plus one at the beginning of each upkeep on the enchanted creature. I made my Soul Mender like a 11 11. This day, today actually, with this deck with a forced adaptation, and it was really, really fun, <laughs> and I won that game. So this is this is a really good card to play in the beginning of a game and get your plus one plus ones at the beginning of the game and boost your creature up huge if you have it in the beginning draw. We have two of the pacifisms for one white, one colorless. You enchant a creature, and the enchanted creature cannot attack or block. The great card just to keep a creature out of the way. So, love the pacifisms. We have two of the Ephra's Enlightenment. These enchanted creature, when they enchant the creature, you put a plus one, plus one on them. The enchanted creature is flying, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you get to, if you want, return Ephra's Enlightenment to your hand, and you can then do it on another creature. The plus one, plus one stay on the creatures that you put it on, but the flying doesn't. So, it's just, you can boost up your creatures with this by passing them between creatures and boost them up with plus one plus one counters but this is still a very good card to have i have two of them they're very good and then we only have one of these but i want one more maybe a detention sphere one blue one white you get to when it enters the battlefield exile target permanent not named detention sphere and all other permanents with the same name so until this leaves the battlefield and this is a great card to have i mean you exile four playset if they have a playset out Exile all of it until that leaves. For our sorceries, we have the two revoke existence to exile target creature artifact or enchantment. For one white and one colorless, you get to exile target artifact or enchantment. Who doesn't want that? And we have an urban evolution for one blue, one green. We have and three, we get to draw three cards and play an additional land. So that's a very good card to have. And then we get into our instants. We have two raise the alarms, one white, one colorless. We get to put two on one white soldiers out. That's always good to have two. Two of the nullifies, that's two blue. We get to counter target creature and or an aura spell. Very good card to have. 
and two of the Voyages End. One blue, one colorless. We get to return a target permanent to its a creature to its hand and scry. So we get to look at the top card and decide if we want to keep it there or put it at the bottom. So that is my green, white, and blue deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's not finished just yet, I would say, but it's still good to run like it is. I ran it. I've won a couple games with it. It's not bad. It's not like it's going to run like shit. Every once in a while it will. Other times it's not that bad. I hope this deck deck is in good quality. It's 10 minutes and 30 seconds long, but I believe I'm now able to record longer than 10 minutes, thank God. So I will be having Commander decks getting posted soon, because Commander deck decks I've always wanted to do. I have two good Commander decks that I really want to post, but I have not been able to because of the 10 minute time limit. Now that I'm able to record longer, it will make it so much better. So I hope you guys enjoy this video nonetheless. Um, I hope this video comes out well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.